Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I have a lip product review for you guys on the new e.l.f. Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. I have three shades here to swatch for you guys and try on my lips, as well as give you guys my honest review on what I think about these products. So if you guys are interested in seeing what shades I grabbed, and if you're interested in seeing me test them on my lips and share my honest thoughts with you guys, then make sure to keep on watching. Now before we jump into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. All right, you guys, I'm super excited to be jumping in to these new lip products by e.l.f. If you guys know me, you know I love lip products, so I'm super excited about these. I also love a good lip plumping product, so I'm excited to see how these perform. On the packaging, it says that these are a three-in-one product. They're a lip plumper, gloss, and a lip balm. These are super trendy products right now because they're offering everything that's on trend right now which is a glossy look a balmy look as well as anything to plump your lips so I grabbed three shades to try with you guys that I thought I would personally like. So I have Wicked Cherry, Busta Mauve, and Toasted. I'm gonna go lightest to darkest, so we're starting off with the shade Toasted. The packaging is honestly just like the Tarte lip glosses. You just push up and it comes up. All right, you guys, so this is toasted on my lips. On their website, it says that this is like a neutral beige. Against my skin tone, I would say it definitely looks like that. It looks more of like a nude, like a beigey nude, and I think it's really cute. I would definitely pair this with a deeper lip liner just to give my lips a little bit more dimension and just to make sure I don't look washed out. But overall, I think this is a really cute shade. In terms of the formula, I'm not gonna lie, when I was going in heavy with this product, it was looking a little bit patchy. So I think the trick with this is go in with a light hand. You don't want to put too much product or else it's going to look patchy and it's just going to be way too much on the lips. In terms of the finish, I would say it's like a medium coverage finish and I think it has to do with the fact that I didn't overdo it with how much product I went in with because the more I went in with, it was just getting patchy. So I think a light layer is your safest bet. I can see my natural lips seeping through so I would say the finish is more of like a sheer finish. You do get a nice tint but it's definitely not full coverage but I don't think that's necessary. I think this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. just pair it with a lip liner and it's gonna look beautiful in terms of plumping I don't think my lips are really plumping at all they look pretty much the same the formula does have like a cooling sensation but I don't really think it's doing anything to plump the lips next up we have the shade bust of mauve and on their website it says that this is basically a mauve shade I love the clicking it's honestly so fun Here is Busta Mauve Applied, you guys, and I think I am obsessed. I absolutely love this color. I think it's gorgeous. This shade is definitely a little bit more deeper than I thought, but I still think it's beautiful. I can see myself wearing this a lot, so this is definitely my favorite compared to Toasted. I feel like this one is a little bit more full coverage. I feel like I'm not seeing much of my natural lips underneath. Another thing I noticed that helps to make sure you don't get like a patchy application is go in with a really light hand as you're applying the product if you press onto your lips you're going to get patchiness so I did notice this time around I used a very light hand and I was able to get like a seamless application in terms of plumping again I'm really not seeing any sort of plumping action on my lips it is a cooling feeling like I mentioned with toasted but again no plumping really at all 
all on my lips but I mean I love the gloss I love the pigment and I love the tone so I'm still enjoying this even though it's not giving me any plumping action the last color I have to share with you guys is called wicked cherry and on their website it says that this is like a black cherry shade get to do my favorite thing which is push the product up I love the pen, it's so fun. I'm gonna make sure to go in with a light hand just so I can get a clean application and avoid any patchiness. Here is Wicked Cherry Applied and this is absolutely beautiful. It's like the most gorgeous deep red, you guys. I'm obsessed. This one looks like it's super full coverage and high pigmented, so I'm definitely obsessed with that. I think it looks beautiful. I really don't need a lip liner with this. I mean, it's just like the perfect deep color and it's just looking absolutely gorgeous. I feel like the deeper shades definitely have more pigment than the lighter shades. I feel like Toasted was the only one that kind of gave me a little bit of a sheer finish. Although it still gave good pigment, I did find it to be a bit sheer. But this one and also the mauve shade that I tried definitely have really good pigment and can be pulled off as full coverage. This one also has a cooling sensation. However, I'm not really seeing much plumping action once again. So I feel like that's kind of lacking in terms of the product and the formula. However, overall, I think these are beautiful. All right, you guys. So time for some final honest thoughts on these new e.l.f. Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. Honestly, you guys, I'm a fan. For $10 to get a beautiful lip look, I mean, I'm totally here for it. These feel like the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Dupes, and I mean, you're getting these for like half the price of those, so I definitely recommend these. The trick to get a seamless application with these is definitely to go in with a light hand and slowly layer the product on your lips. I'm gonna be honest and say that if you're trying to buy these products for some lip plumping action, you're not gonna get that. So if that's what you're looking for, definitely try a different product. This is not the product to use. But if you're looking for gorgeous pigmented glosses and bombs, you're definitely going to love these. I mean, you guys saw on my lips, there is some really nice pigment coming from these products and I love the shine and I just think these are amazing. I feel like I grabbed the perfect shades you guys I have the perfect mauve I have the perfect deep red for like a statement look and I also got a nice kind of neutral nude to wear with some lip liner so yeah I would definitely recommend these shades I feel like these shades are gonna work really well on so many people these are definitely versatile colors to have in your collection so that is pretty much it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And you guys, that is pretty much it. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.